morning guys breakfast in the sunshine living the dream um i actually feel a little bit guilty being here with everything that's going on in the world and that's why i guess i've not been great at filming content um why i've not been great at posting on socials it just feels off to me um but unfortunately it's kind of part of my job to do it um yeah i don't know i just it just feels weird. Anyway, welcome back everybody, Dubai vlog part two. Um, yesterday was rest day, so I didn't get any content for you. I just sat by our pool. And it was actually my sister's birthday yesterday, so we went out for some drinks last night. I had too many and rolled in at about quarter to two. It is now nine o'clock and it is time to go and do some squats. So yeah, um, wish me luck. Because I've got four fours at 153. Um, I'm gonna do like I'm literally gonna do that on my accessories today because I'm on holiday and because the thought of doing weightlifting after that little sleep and alcohol is not a good idea. I will see you guys in the gym. This gym is pretty cool. I like it. Okay. I have one issue: my squat rack and platform don't line up, which means I'm gonna have to take 155 with like half a foot on a platform. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool setup. It goes all the way around. Session done. First thing, I'm walking. Because my sister's convinced that it's only a 15 minute walk home. I'm not convinced, she runs. So it might be a 15 minute run home, but I will not be running anywhere after this was. Um, interesting session today. I got mansplained at today, which was fun. Um, so I was doing my hang power snatches at 70 kilos, and I was thinking, you know what, I really can't bother to do these today, I might jack them in. And then the bloke next to me, despite the fact I have my headphones in, which I don't do very often and is very much a don't talk to me, um, tried to tell me that my technique was, like he tried to give me technical advice. I was genuinely just not sure what to do because he'd been, and I get it right, you don't have to be strong, you don't have to be a good lifter to be a good coach. But he just missed 180 next to me after loading it like an absolute tool. He had eight tens on the bar and two and four four twenties so i'd already been annoyed at him because i wanted tens for my set and he had them all he did actually give me them after that um and then yeah he proceeded to try and tell me that the bar was coming away on my snatches obviously i'd filmed them because i was vlogging them but i couldn't have been much closer to be honest i think he just saw the fact that i had a hip drive and he's a crossfitter and people think you shouldn't have a hip drive when you snatch well, you should because you need to lose your loops. That's a whole different video. So he was doing that. I, I was genuinely like, didn't know what to say. Like, I don't want to be like, do you know who I am? Because I'm not that guy, I'm not a knob. But I was also like, you're wrong. So I just went, all right, interesting. And then just carried on about my business. Um, and got, having gone from nearly like, wanted to stop doing 70 kilos, I did 85 for a double. So it was my top set. Um, and he proceeded to fail a 120 stripper clean next to me. Like, I'm talking proper bum up first kind of vibes. So, that was my training session. But a good session. Yeah, my squats. Um, I screwed up my second set, which you see the video of. Uh, third set was a easier. Fourth set was pretty hard. But then, because I missed the rep the second set, I did a bonus double. Got my squats done, got some snatches done some pull-ups, some side bends, and now we are off to swim pool with the kids, because the kids have half day on a Friday. So I need to go back to my phone, check the maps, check I'm not lost already after five minutes of my walk. Just hooked day, everyone. I'm about 18 minutes into my walk, and I'm still not home. I love my big sis, but... <sighs> to be fair, 
she wasn't just being horrible to me. She was in a meeting, so couldn't come and get me. And there was no cabs available. So, I get it. But... Home is so far away. And I did heavy squats on my legs are dead. And I stole in my shoe. I'll be home soon. It's not that far away. Just being a drama llama. 26 minutes, team. Um, basically home. Like, I can, I can see the door. Um, yeah. Not quite 15 minutes, but also not that deep. And I've walked in the sunshine, and the sun has been on the upper shoulder that's not burnt. So that's a bit better. And, um, yeah, got my steps in for the day. Not that I need them, because I'm trying to gain weight. But it's always good for the body, good for the mind. And apart from talking to you, I just watched the world go by, because I had no internet. So, a little bit of whatever you want to call it, mindfulness. Anyways, I'm home at all. Is here. See you later. Got full girl squadron this morning. To a point, we actually ran out of 15 kilo bars. I squad on 20. because I checked the weather and obviously it only has the UV thing and today it actually says very high so I need to be sensible and not frazzle myself um, so yeah let's um let's relax I guess do a little bit of work do some video feedback and maybe have a mojito or two in the sunshine my last couple of days morning everyone um, so I am up early because today I'm jumping out of a plane and I seem to have picked the cloudiest, windiest day that there has been for the whole trip. So I hope by the time I dive it will have cleared up a little bit. Um, I imagine it will have done. I've also never been up at this time of day, right? So I don't actually know what the weather normally looks like at this time of day. Um, but there is quite a bit of wind, so hopefully that will blow the clouds away. Big sad team. I was right about the weather, it's pretty hazy. It's currently on standby, hoping that the fog burns away. I'm glad I packed my book. Because it's not looking great. After three hours of waiting, unfortunately, I didn't get to dive. They cancelled all the dives because it was too dusty. Um, it's still pretty hazy now to be fair, so it makes me feel slightly better. Um, but obviously I leave tomorrow, so unfortunately I 
don't have any cool content to give you, which is probably going to make this part two very, very short. Gutted. Really gutted. Um, but it is what it is. I was going to go to a pool after my dive, but the weather didn't look worthwhile. Still pretty grim. Um, so yeah, that's me for the day, to be honest. Um, got a meeting with IWF in a bit about the Olympic qualification system and then just chill later my last night here yeah I'm a, I just feel a bit too sad to say anything else also can you see my neck from yesterday it's really sore um, I'm hoping that's why my throat hurts and not actually because I've got COVID and I can't go home although that would be kind of cool because I'd be stuck here but I wouldn't be able to train and I wouldn't be able to get home to my baby boy so that's that I guess. Guys, it's my last session at Desert Barbell and I'm really sad about it. But I have got my 3x3 on back squat, which I think are at 162 kilos. Um, so we'll see how that goes. It's quite early. It's like 9.40. Not sure I'd ever squatted that early before. But we move. Um, so yeah, waiting for the guests. They told me 9.30. And um, they're not here yet. So, you know. Um, but it means we can get a good warm-up done, ready to get moving and grooving. Just a little bit like, yeah. One thirty-seven for a PB. Come on. Take your time on that start. 
Attack it! <laughs> it was these guys over here thinking you were gonna die, it was my favorite. something I would genuinely never understand when people get on a plane. Like, it, the screen says boarding, but they've not actually announced it. Your seat is determined. Like, nothing is going to change by standing in that line. Nothing. Hey team, um, I've just got home, um, jumped in the shower, thrown some of my stuff out of my suitcase because it felt like I was like, I can get all of this done and hung up and whatever else it didn't work like that um so i've done some of it but now inside looks a mess but i've got the most important job of the day and the thing i was most excited to come home for despite getting my eyelashes done on monday which i'm very excited to see emma about um but i'm off to pick up my baby boy i've missed him so much oh hi hi munchkin hi baby You miss me? Oh hi! Oh hi! <laughs> nah, going bonkers. Hi! Hi! Kobe! 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 Oi! Hey buddy! Hi! Are you happy to be home? Yeah? Yeah? Are you happy to be home? Oh, you kissed my camera and that looks funny. Yes. Yes, indeed. Oh. Oh, heck. No. No. Stop punching mommy in the face. Mommy. I think someone's happy to be home. So, Poppy is home. I had a night flight, and although I slept on it, it wasn't a great deal. I guess that's that, really. So as I run out for the day, me and Kobe are gonna chill out, take him on a walk. Um, hopefully next time you see me on a YouTube video, I'll have better eyelashes. I honestly don't know what's happened to him in the last, like, two days. Probably sleeping on the plane, like, meh. Um, anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like part two was a little bit shorter than part one in terms of 
content and me being up to stuff um, just because of the way the weekend fell and the travel and whatever else um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it if you haven't already please like this video and subscribe to my channel it means a lot your support is so appreciated the way the channel has grown in the last like two months is phenomenal and I'm so grateful to every single one of you that subscribed um, so yeah stay tuned uh, for the next one I'm not sure where our next adventure will be it might just be a daytime kind of vlog but we'll see I'll keep you posted and I'll take you along for the ride so, bye for now